Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In case you are watching for the first time, this is a channel on engineering studies focusing more on electrical science. Please check description link for more videos. Also, please like, share and subscribe. Do click on the bell button to get notified as I upload new videos on every week. I also have another channel related to competitive examination preparations. Please support it by sharing with your friends. You can find the link in the description box. Now, let us come back to the playlist of basic electrical engineering. In this video, I will be discussing major basic terminologies of alternating current. As you can able to see, the major terminologies of alternating currents are the cycle, time period, frequency, amplitude, instantaneous value, maximum value, phase, phase difference, average value, a root mean square value, then form factor, crush factor or amplitude factor. So, now, today I am going to focus mainly up to uh, the phase difference. Till this portion I am going to cover in this video. So, uh, the remaining part of the session I will be continuing in the uh, upcoming videos. Okay. So, today let us understand uh, from what is cycle, what is the importance of time period, frequency, amplitude, instantaneous value, maximum value, phase and phase difference. Rest of the portion will be continued in the coming session. So, moving on to the discussion. Uh, let me discuss about what do you mean by a cycle first okay let us move on to the definition what is the definition of cycle one complete set of positive and negative values of alternating quantities known as cycle so let us consider the diagram one complete set of positive half cycle and negative half cycle is called cycle so, this is actually the complete cycle. You can able to see the cycle. One complete cycle is equal to, you can express either in terms of degree or radian. You can say it as either 360 degree or you can call it as 2 pi radian. Okay, this is the def basic definition of cycle. If I talk about an alternating quantity, the cycle is very important. So, it may be like uh, another waveform also. This is also one of the complete cycle. You can see the complete cycle. Okay. Any other shape, it's a sinusoidal waveform. So if it's a triangular waveform, you can able to mention the cycle, complete set of uh, po uh, positive and uh, negative half cycle. Okay, the combined positive and negative half cycle is called one full cycle or one complete cycle. It can be expressed either degree or radian, 360 degree or 2 pi radian. Moving on to the remaining term, what do you mean by uh, time period? The time taken for Time taken by an alternating quantity to complete one cycle. See, cycle comprises of positive half cycle and negative half cycle. This is your uh, time period. You can able to calculate the time period. This will be the total time period to complete one cycle. The unit of uh, the time period that is equal to seconds. Usually we mention in terms of seconds. And the cycle is also specified in terms of angular measure. Okay, you can write... Uh, uh, three, uh, 360 degree okay that means or you can call it as 2 pi radian one complete cycle is said to be spread over 360 degree or 2 pi radian so another terminology you will be learning uh, frequency that i'll be showing you in the coming session so remember that time period is inversely proportional to frequency you can follow the relation time period is equal to 1 by uh, frequency supply frequency f okay so this is actually the time period Okay, so the time taken for completion of one full cycle, that is called a time period. Time period will be expressed in terms of seconds. Okay, it will be spreading over 360 degree or 2 pi radian. That point you have to remember. Next, I wanted to discuss about what is the frequency. The total number of cycles per second is called a frequency of alternating quantity. How many number of cycles are repeating per seconds? That is called a frequency. The unit of frequency is uh, hertz. Okay, uh, the it can be rep represented as H capital H small letter Z. Okay, so you can able to correlate time period and frequency. So the frequency is equal to one by time period. So both are inversely proportional. Time period and frequency both are inversely proportional. So this is regarding frequency, and uh, you can able to calculate the angular frequency also. So angular frequency you can call it as omega. Angular frequency is equal to two pi into f where f is the supply frequency whatever you have mentioned that is supply frequency that is a relation between angular frequency and supply frequency 
the unit of angular frequency is radian per second okay radian per second so this is regarding frequency and the frequency has been divided into angular frequency and supply frequency that point you have to keep in your mind let me continue the remaining term we need to explain what do you mean by amplitude see this is your amplitude consider the sinusoidal waveform and this will be the amplitude you can call it as height amplitude this will be the height amplitude so it will be it may be either positive or negative see look at this the maximum value either it may be positive or negative of the alternating quantity so this will be positive v maximum on the opposite side this will be a negative v maximum do understand this okay you can write an instantaneous value e is equal to em sin omega t em uh, sin omega t here em is called amplitude or you can write v is equal to small letter v is equal to uh, vm uh, sin omega t here you can mention the capital vm that is called amplitude or height okay so you can able to represent in the diagram also i have just mentioned the diagram okay let me continue what do you mean by instantaneous value it is the value of the quantity at any instant of time it can be denoted by i or small letter v or small letter e if i talk about uh, small letter i you can write instantaneous value is equal to i am uh, sin omega t i am sin omega t or if i talk about the voltage v v is equal to oh, vm uh, sin omega t okay these are called the instantaneous value because uh, that omega t that is getting varied you know so with respect to the variation of omega t the v also will be getting varied so omega t, t means theta as per the theta variation variation of theta that is also influencing the instantaneous value so likewise you can able to represent this okay so that is regarding instantaneous value now let me discuss about maximum value or peak value it is a maximum value or uh, positive value attained alternating quantity it is represented by vm or em which i already discussed okay maximum value or uh, peak value okay next i wanted to discuss about what do you mean by phase what is the meaning of phase the phase of an alternating quantity it is applicable only for ac quantity it can be defined as the divisional part of a cycle through which the quantity moves forward from a selected origin that means zero crossing that means when the two quantities have the same frequency and the same frequency do underline this same frequency and their maximum and minimum points achieve at the same point then the quantities are said to be in the same phase that means same zero crossing should be followed and also the same uh, frequency then we will say that uh, both the quantities are in phase okay it is applicable only for ac quantity and uh, it's a divisional part of the cycle through which the quantity moves forward from the selected origin that is called phase let me show you the phase with the help of some diagram so that you will understand the concept very clearly so look at the diagram see uh, these are the divisional part you can see the divisional part see very, very clear so two quantities you can able to see one quantity is represented by using a red colored one other quantity is representing by using a green colored one so these are the maximum points obviously we can say that maximum points are different okay maximum points are under percentage different both the quantities are starting at the same point and terminating at the same point but the amplitude is different but the frequency remains same so that is another thing so from this we can able to understand that uh, see uh, the both the quantities i m1 and uh, two quantities okay both are in the same phase but uh, we can able to observe one more quantity one more thing if when two quantities have the same frequency and the zero crossing over the same point then the quantities are said to be at the same phase we can call it as in phase quantity both are in phase quantity okay that is the speciality then when do you say, say that both the quantities are out of phase if the zero crossing points are not same then we call it as uh, out of phase okay 
uh, that if uh, if the two quantities are showing out of phase then another terminology comes that is called a phase difference here a uh, phase difference will be zero only uh, if i if the two quantities are in phase then we call it as the phase difference that is absolutely zero okay so this is regarding the phase now let me talk about phase difference so what do you mean by phase difference look at this the phase difference between two electrical quantities either it may be current or voltage is defined as the angular phase difference between the maximum possible value of the two alternating quantities having the same frequency the frequency remains same but look at the zero crossing point here it will be starting at zero the quantity which is showing in the red color i1 that is starting from origin but what about the quantity which is shown in green colored one it is not starting from origin uh, i think beyond the point apart from the origin so we can able to say that uh, there are two quantities are not in phase both the quantities are out of phase you can write it as out of phase if two quantities are out of phase of course there will be a phase difference that phi is representing the phase difference it is merely written over there okay phase difference okay i'm writing in a short form phase difference i hope you understood the different uh, the what is in phase and what is out of phase so if two quantities are showing out of phase then we call it as there must be a phase difference okay this is regarding the phase difference so in this session uh, we have discussed about uh, what do we mean by uh, instantaneous value or what is cycle what is frequency what is a peak value or maximum value and what do we mean by phase what is phase difference okay so i have explained all the definition in short uh, now i have covered up to this points these points i have completed till phase difference i have covered so in the coming session i am going to discuss about average value and how do you derive the average value what is rms value and the derivation of rms value then form factor and finally crest factor if you know these fundamentals then it is very easy to explain uh, the different uh, parameters of alternating quantity so as a beginner uh, as a, we are starting from right from the beginning so this uh, you should know these terminologies okay irrespective of any engineering branches you should know uh, these fundamentals if you are having any clarifications you can put up in the comment box uh, finally thank you very much for watching this video